G'day guys, welcome back to MG Rebuild. Uh, and also hello to my new subscribers, because there has been quite a few over the last few days. So, welcome aboard. Um, today we're gonna to try and see if we can line up this, this hood uh, a little bit better. Now, I've been getting quite a few good um, uh, comments on my last video in regards to this. And there's been a bit of a common theme, and a few of them are saying that you've gotta line up that door first, the driver's side door, sorry, right-hand side door. Um, before you can actually get the hood to line up correctly. So, and also the actual uh, radiator mounted support itself needs to be turned around. Um, which is fine because I've actually got new radiator support bushes now as well. So I can put all that in. Um, the radiator still hasn't been, uh, hasn't been restored as yet. I'm not too worried about that just yet. But um, for now, let's take off this hood and turn the radiator around. So as you can see, I've now got the actual um, the hinge line done. Uh, the little chrome piece is, is now sitting in there right. Oh. Um, and I've got the inside keepers. I haven't worried about the outside ones as yet. Um, I've still got the old ones there to, to use. But you can see down through there, this is what I'm trying to line up. It's all over the show at the moment. Um, another thing is I'm going to have to put the um, put the handles on and the actual uh, catches as well to um, to make sure things do line up. So it may be a matter of taking taking the guards off, just to have a bit of um, bit of playroom as such, so I can actually get in there, uh, which I reckon that will be the case. But like I said, first things first, we've got to take off the hood, and then we've got to try and solve this little issue here. Yep, try and go the right way. As you can see, it's it's getting close, but it's still a bit more to go.
Anyway, it's out. Now, if you look closely, you can see the actual mounting holes are offset. Um, and also, that is actually cut out as opposed to that. Now, the problem is how I had it is one, the radiator was too far forward, but also secondly, you can't take the radiator out unless you take the engine out because you can't get to the bolts. So by turning this plate around, the radiator is set further back towards the engine and you can access the bolts as well at the same time. So um, I'm not sure if that is how it's meant to be or if that's how it's factory or what, but um, that was a, a hint given to me and um, it should hopefully be okay. See how things go. Now I can't remember whether I actually had the uh, the steering rack in before when I put this this bracket in or not. Um, I know it's proven very difficult to actually get your fingers in there, but um, to save me having to pull it all apart again, I'll just try and persevere and try and get that um, that radio support back in without having to pull the steering out because I really don't want to do that. It's just more ex extra work which I don't really need to do or want to do. You can certainly see the difference between old and new.
It seems we're going to take the um, radiator cowl off. Now that it's all turned around, that actual cowl is in the way to be able to get those, um, those nuts back off onto the mount. So, off it comes. Now I've had to take the, um, the little ears off the side there as well, uh, otherwise you can't get the actual crane piece off. Now it just slides right off, it's as simple as that. Okay, I've just put a, uh, a mud flap washer, I actually had to drill the centre of it out, to, uh, just to cover the actual rubber. Um, it was previously had two washers stepped down, just because the hole in the bit was too big for it, and yeah. Anyway, so that's what I've done, just to make it a, a neater job. Doesn't make it an easier job though. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me meant to be in the great outdoors forever 
As you can see, the radiator is now back in place. Um, I've got the actual chrome surround on as well. Um, and also actually have just mounted the, um, the the wing brackets back in there just for now. It took a lot longer than I was expecting. Um, but so, I actually have run out of time for today to be able to continue on with it. So, but the next episode, um, I'll take these these brackets back off take the wings off and start working on um, getting that door right so the actual hood or bonnet will actually fit correctly um, I might be a bit too much of a perfectionist but I really want to get it to, to look right because otherwise it's just going to drive me nuts you know, and I'll never be happy with the car so I, I don't want that to happen it's a car I've wanted for 30 years I've got it you know, halfway there, getting it restored. I want to make sure I do a good job of it. So um, that's what I'll do next time. So like I said, front guards will come off and then I can um, hopefully adjust that door properly. And then a bit like everything else should fit as well. So anyway, that's it for now. Um, don't forget to enter the competition for the, the MG Rebuild T-shirt. Um, there's either this one, the one up in the pocket, of course, with the same same logo or it's the new logo as well just the uh, MG Rebuild logo either big or top pocket or you can even have it embroidered on a, on a polo shirt if you wanted to so um, there's all those to choose from if you go on the store so the competition will be for a t-shirt um, so all you got to do is um, be a subscriber you must be a subscriber otherwise you cannot enter um, and just um, look in the description there will be a link to the competition um, it's got another week to run and I've got a few entries in already but I'd like to get a few more you know to, to share the love so to speak um, and look, there will be more competitions later on as well um, so jump on be a subscriber because I, like I said earlier I did get a lot of subscribers over the last week which is great not as many entries into the competition as I've got subscribers so which is interesting um, so if you're you know if you're an existing subscriber you can certainly into the competition as well and I encourage you to do so. So anyway, in this description is the competition. Um, for people who aren't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe then you can actually um, enter the competition as well. And of course hit the no notifications button otherwise yeah, you might miss out on something that I've done. Um, also I do have Instagram um, and once again look if you, if you want to send me a letter or send me something for the car or whatever you might want to do there's also um, in the description also be my my uh, mailing address as well so until next time like i said the guards off hopefully fixing that door and then the hood will fit and uh, we'll go from there okay until then see you later